Hey guys, Naya here. This time I'm going to play a bit of a different game. I'm going to make a quick playthrough how to really effectively and well play on the City Builder servers in OpenTTD on the OpenTTD.pro servers. City Builder servers are special servers that certainly do play the base game Transport Tycoon. However, there is a special challenge in the global goals where you have to settle us, settle, capture a city and build it up to 4,000 population. You do this by delivering passengers, delivering goods to your chosen city. So let's first let's choose one of the cities. You can choose one up to 800 population, but not 800. So let's just, and it shouldn't be a city. So let's just pick one that looks and has all the necessary industry close by. Tanley looks good. Yep, it has some cities outside. There are some woods and certainly some nice coal mines. Let's start our company. Press F9 to change anything here. And we'll place our H headquarters close to the city anywhere. Uh, it is advisable if you have a small city to place it very close. If you have a larger one, it doesn't matter because it is accepting everything you need. So let's place it over here. And I tend to stick these windows about goals very close by so that I have a vision of them. You can pin the windows so that you don't accidentally close them. In when you're closing all windows on the screen. There's this little pin. And we need, as you can see, 74 passengers, 28 bags of mail and 54 tons of coal each month. For that, we need to build railroads. Um, first of all, I'm gonna build some big railroads. Some. I'm going to deliver passengers and mail from a nearby city. And place my station strategically so they don't block future development. Of course, you have to start very quickly. Uh, every month counts, every month is important. If you are not delivering goods, your city is not growing, and your opponents, your other players, can be building it faster. Uh, we need to deliver coal to this power station. It doesn't matter if it's this power station exactly, but you need a station that is close to your city. You need a station that is close to your city, not the power station, but the station that you are delivering it to. You can use the coal mine close to your city, but that's not very good. Let's use this one first. Don't go for small, um, small industries that produce less than 100 units. Your trains will take a long time loading. And I should have placed this elsewhere. No problem, we can change it later. And right now we are in need of speed. I'm using length 5 cranes. Um, you can also use smaller or shorter ones, but they are not effective. Longer ones, of course, but these cranes they are not very powerful right now at 1960 when the game starts. All right, let's uh, check how does our cargo go. Uh, we are doing pretty much enough. You want, certainly at the start, a train that takes about a month to travel to between the stations and delivers about as much or slightly more than what your city needs. 
right now it is about as much. That means we will certainly soon need another train. I will also expand the city's road network so that it has place to grow and doesn't have to build roads instead of buildings. Of course, roads do not give you any population. Uh, that's why I tend to build them myself. Every time your city grows, it decides on where, where it starts in the central place and goes along a road and takes picks one spot, one tile. If it's empty, it will decide if it will place a house or if it will place a road. And of course, roads, we don't want them go on and place houses everywhere you can. That's why I build up the road network and plan the city in this way and it will build buildings independently. Also, don't forget to borrow all your money. This is on easy settings, so you will never need to uh, worry about money because this coal mine, this coal transport will pay for it. I can also speed it up. I don't have to wait for the first delivery uh, to be done in full. And I can go on and include more trains. Yeah, let's take some train from Plainfield. Field. Um, I think it's reasonable that I uh, send the train over here to the station. Of course, you don't have to level all the uh, terrain here as I do, but I like clean and neat construction. However, there are players who do make the mistakes of planning and building their train network pretty badly. I don't have a competitor right now. Maybe there is someone who will show up. I'm just trying to win the game fast as I can. And let me just build up more trains to deliver passengers. I would like to capture as many buildings in this city as I can. Uh, that means building the rail station somewhere in the center. I would be very pleased if I could do it here, but this you'll have to do length five and Yep, let's go in here about this size. Of course, you don't have to build a new track for each train, but in, at first, if you have one or a few trains, it doesn't matter if you don't have a train network. So feel free to do the same as I do and build one train, one railroad for each train. It doesn't hurt anything. If you have a big network in mind, of course, go for it. But for one train or several trains, you don't need that at all. And as you can see, our, town, our city was not growing last month but it will grow in November. Here, I have one building every 87 days. That's pretty bad. Oh, the train is lost. Something is not connected here. But it has grown by one, two, three, perhaps four buildings already since we have started. 
it doesn't project anything and I have to prepare more coal because the city of size two or oh, size 400 requires about 250 coal per month and this mine can only su supply about 200 tons and of that only 30 quarters are transported so let's add this coal mine as well um, like this I can join it here and place some simple signals for now there is no danger in um, cargo trains that they run into each other very often okay I've got the passengers secured, mail with that, and I've got some coal going in. Next cargo that we will require at size 1000 1, will be wood, which will go to the sawmill. And uh, we have some forests nearby this one, these two. This one is not very effective, efficient. Um, and there are others outside, but nothing good, nothing really exceptional. So I think I will have to build a bigger network for that. All right, I will perhaps level this. And right now remove the station as it is here, okay and replace it with a new one that will also accept coal over here and wood as well for that i'm building a simple terminal train station that will be the destination of two tracks um, of course, there will be only unloading on this station and there will be coal tracks and wood tracks arriving. I have to connect these. Oh, I will change this uh, track later. And for now, I just want to rebuild it. Remove everything that we've built previously. Okay, that should do it. And I will add the wood trucks here, wood trains uh, from the east side at first. One forest, second forest, perhaps this one as well okay i will continue the track over here but i will add an annex here that will supply wood i will add some signals uh, to uh, like this and purchase new train uh, again five length it doesn't matter that the wood is not as efficient. We do work with what we have. And I have some 137 euro left. I will be able to add this forest as well and later expand when we had when we get more money. that and like this add a depot I can also clone this train so that I don't have to click as much delete the orders and issue new orders quick check on my city uh, it looks it is very well delivered 
we are getting growth bonuses which happen if you deliver twice as much uh, cargo that is needed quick to note uh, you need passengers every month but the other cargos are accumulated also mail every month passengers mail every month they are reduced to zero consumed everything and if you supply the city with enough of them if you are doing double what of what is required you get a growth bonus so your city your town grows twice as fast i believe it is twice as fast some bonus is there in play of course and we are having no call issues right now of consuming 50 out of the 50 503 each month and we are delivering a lot all right what is going to be the next one and i have 80,000. let's build a short train route over here i've built something unnecessarily um how about we build it over here and don't go over the hill five length Okay, and I will replace this train depot and rebuild this place as well. No, let's do it like this. Okay, and since there will be only probably only one train going up there, I can add it from here. Go to Winningstone, train depot and unloading. Okay, let's go. I will change the signals over here. Perhaps I will add one more here, one more train, because this forest is very nice, but it's far, so our trains are going to have some issues um, using all the wood that is delivered to the stations. I will add one more once I have the money. But right now, I will simply add another piece of track. And I don't need it to go all the way. I just need that my trains have a place to avoid themselves and not uh, block each other. I will also change the signals. These path signals are one way. And if uh, there are multiple trains going through this junction from over here to these places they can avoid each other so for example this train goes on this track and one train from here goes towards the north part and i will change these to double side double sided signals this one in the station when it leaves so that it doesn't get lost and this way um i will change it to the, the other direction this way i cannot pass uh in through this one-way pb signal but this one can be passed so train coming from here can arrive even though there is no signal here it treats it as an empty track without a signal and goes all the way here once there it can turn and stand at this signal when the junction isn't free once it becomes free it can go and pass i will do the same over here with the one-way signals uh, like this and this and change the direction here and the one-way signal will also head into the junction so that the end place is accessible and i will do normal signals everywhere else on the track and since there are multiple trains going through this junction right now i will change it to uh, this path based one as well 
so that all the signals path into the junction and if you are going outside this is treated as one big signalless place and these coming into the junction that are one directional that they will be simpler and in this case i will change in also those signals in the terminal into one on into these path based ones so there are no collisions no problems i hope so <clears throat> We've got some more woods forests here, which I might utilize. But first, I kind of want another um, another passenger train, and I have noticed that this train is full and going out. I will simply clone it and duplicate and send it once once it can go. See. This train didn't leave the junction at all. It was all, always pr already present here, but this train already started because this part of the junction was empty. And by this, I think we have secured most of our wood needs for the city. That means I can simply adjust my passengers network as well. Uh, let's add Sandfink Ford to the system. And perhaps this is the time for some uh, buses or trucks. Yep, that might be the time. You don't want the trucks at the start because they are inefficient, they are slow, they are moving only a small amount of cargo. And if you can see, uh, our city has grown over 1000, added the wood requirement. And since I wasn't able to deliver it in, in last month, um, the wood was not there and our town stopped growing for this month. Some people, some players, are using old vehicles, old trains, uh, especially the Ginzus or SHAPs, the steam engines, but, you know, they may be nominally the same, um, of the same speed as the UUs, however, they are not as good. It says maximum tractive effort 494, 293. This one might be even better than the UU. However, it's definitely not better than the floss that arrived since 1962. And as I said, I can add trucks. So let's do that. I can expand this train station as I want combine it with the truck station I will have I will need this many um, stops for goods for I will not make a train that will that will move goods from this station over to this station it might be effective okay and I will plan it out so like this I will also add trucks to transport the coal from this place. Add a depot over here and we can plant the trucks here. Full load, unload, on stop. And copy the vehicle let's say 10 times. Yep, the coal mine is pretty good so Let's add more than we think is necessary.
Genesis is growing nicely. Remember, you have to deliver all the goods in one month. And the city will continue growing. Right now, it grows every 15 days. That is always dependent from the size of the city. So, bigger city grows faster. When it grows faster, it has higher requirements. Remember, you need to expand your passengers network to supply your city. That's why I have four trains all going into the central one. However, I could improve the station to be smaller so that I don't use all four of the station places um, as a junction, as a terminal that will accept incoming trains. Let's say two of them will be unloading at the same time. The other, the other ones will wait. But since I have four trains, four trucks, it doesn't matter right now. And I can also already start delivering goods. It doesn't happen if you have chosen one smaller city that doesn't have high rise buildings that accept goods. But I can already. So let's full load in Tenley Heights, unload in Tenley and go to the train depot. This is not necessary, but I keep doing it. And I would really want to prevent any loading. So no loading at Tenley so that this sawmill, if it were close by, doesn't deliver to both this uh, station and the main station here. Uh, all done. We can copy this road vehicle let's say 10 times of course realistically you will probably need much more of that uh, the city will require about 200 goods 270 goods per uh, month when when at the final size of 4000 and power has joined he's going to play against us but we have um, already two years of gameplay behind us. Our city is growing. I'm pretty doubtful he will be able to complete. Now I will change this truck to direct access here to the station so that it doesn't block movement around here. to this and other way okay wait no this one has to be two side as well um doesn't have to block has not to block the movement inside this block and i will add this annex over here so that it's not it's not complicating the traffic near this tra terminal here um change these signals simply okay and i can remove all these non-necessary train tracks here and change these ones to normal course you can use any distance you want people are often using uh, one signal track one free track one signal track one free track uh, every second one i'm using every fourth one i believe you can set it here the distance when auto dragging however i found that when you are using five length trains this is about good size that uh, a train will fit in two blocks and when it, once it leaves the other one can start to continually go into the next one it doesn't block the traffic if you are using them too heavily it doesn't look good and you can't really make junctions very nice 
if you are having them too spread out, then your traffic will be very slow. And from this point on, I just need to expand my passengers network so that my city doesn't doesn't stop growing and we are good. Set to victory. Just keep on doing the same. I will probably need some bigger city to supply my um, town and I'm having my eyes on Salt Town. I need to place a station so that it covers most of the city or much of the city. I can destroy this pesky road here and cover most of the city with a station like this. Um, plan the tracks around this. Also quick introduction to the signals around here. These ones with the white are uh, signalizing that the track is empty and one of and if in a junction all of them are red the train cannot enter the junction if uh, heading from the direction of one of these yellow ones. Otherwise the yellow ones are behaving simply like the basic ones. And there is a special third one with the yellow combo combo signal, uh, yellow like vertical sign that it, that acts as both of them. It signals to the entering signal and uh, also receives information as the exit signal. Well, that's complicated. I'm not even using it. Uh, this is the basic um, signal setup that I'm using. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. And I will transport people from Sontown to Tenley. For that I need to cross this mountain. Where is it most effective? Let's do this. Since this is on easy difficulty, I will have no problems climbing this mountain, especially when it's, uh, when it's about passengers only. The reason why I'm going with a two, two tracks say, uh, side is that this city is a bit bigger and will be able to support multiple trains on the same track. So I will have to adjust for that. Of course, right now I don't have to care about farms and, and fields. It is a lot more expensive to build a cross field if you are playing hard avoid them however this is not a problem here we have just enough money to afford anything and i want to join in tenley that means reducing the size of this um hmm reducing the size of this terminal and I think yes I will do what I'll do is join two tracks into one two tracks into one and these two tracks will go into the middle let's do this then make a tunnel and like this two simple signals nothing complicated and this one will also go Simply here. And about these. Yep, like this. It will not be very great, very efficient here since I have this right turn and my trains will slow down, of course, but it's not critical, I think. Let's take the UUs. I would be glad if I had Floss Engine already, but I don't. I will get it next year. No problems. There. 
and send my train over. I will clone it and send another train once this one is well on its way somewhere in the middle. I do not like to send empty trains, but now I don't mind. I will send another one pretty soon so this one can drive empty all the way. It's not very efficient, of course, but it's fine. Um, like this. Okay. And I will clone the train once more. I will send three trains on these tracks. So there is a steady delivery of pretty many passengers here. Once it's in one third, right now of the train of the of the distance i can send another train once this one gets back i can send the third train if you are simply joining two trains together you can use these simple signals it just doesn't matter really uh, if you are using um, multiple it's better to better to uh, use a bit more advanced train signals system and if you noticed, our town has grown over 1,500 and it requires goods now. The amount of goods is growing um, a bit faster than I would like to, but we have just enough wood delivered to our sawmill that it's creating enough goods and pretty much enough goods trucks that cover it. And I forgot to release this train. Too bad for me. This one will stop for a while. I also sent this one a little late. So it doesn't matter. It's not bad. It's not bad. This one will wait until this one is well on its way. You can stop the train by either clicking on the bottom bar or control clicking on the engine or anywhere in the, in the vehicle. Of course, you can't stop aircraft like this. All right, go. Once this city is this big, I can start thinking about aircraft. And there is the floss diesel locomotive. So we can. Let's send this train to depot and replace it with a bit faster, a bit more efficient, a bit more stronger floss engine. I will purchase a new one, add it to the existing one, to remove the um, engine that was there and send it on its way. It will also go to the first one that is the, the first order that is there. So be sure to know what you are sending it to. I'll do the same with this one and send it later, send it out later and this one will also go to the depot. I don't have to care for much, our city is overflowing with goods, with passengers right now. This is how you secure in a city builder your city that will grow. Of course if you are going into advanced city builders that need uh, tens of thousands of population, your strategy will be different, but these ones uh, are short, of course. Only 4000 is about one hour of gameplay. If you are playing somewhat efficiently, if you are not, well, it will take about two hours, two hours and a half. I've seen players do that. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this tutorial this playthrough so you can learn a bit. I'm doing it somewhat efficiently if you looked at the scores. Uh, last game I have done in 52 minutes. Uh, oh. Nope, like this.
not really i can go for me or for the session starts now uh, let's see the score okay here is the score i took about 52 minutes last time so that would be placed just out of the um high score table here <laughs> but i cannot um, i can understand how someone took only 41 minutes that's stretching it really but it's possible of course if you take a very quickly a city that is growing that is building one big big building or has a lot of them so it has been jump started i don't do that i prefer to play smaller cities and even if you pick a city under 200 population it can be done in a bit more than one hour of playtime all right i was talking about airplanes if you can see here no it's limited marathon is zero out of seven that means we can build an airport that will take five noise but i need a good place good space for it i think over here might be good enough it will accept passengers mail um, that's all i need from an airport and i will need a big city nearby that will supply us with a lot of passengers i can't see anyone any city in this direction of course some town would be good and nothing really catches my eye let's then check for the biggest cities here i have sorted this by population and see fondham is biggest but it's um this position is very square i'm not getting much of it if i were to place it in Sun hunton or sunninghead i will cover many more buildings let's try and do that here level and it's not great i would be better off placing it over here if i were able to oh let's do it okay aircrafts are simple you don't have to build any tracks for them just the air airports and fly aircraft and they are very profitable so send to this airport to the hangar i like like to do that if you noticed and send it to this hangar and Tenley airport <clears throat> and i can copy this let's say four times right now because how far this aircraft how far the airport is from our city that is across the half of the map So I will send second one when it's in the half of the track, third one when it's um, when this first aircraft lands, and the fourth one when it's going back, or when the second one lands. That will be a good way to do it. Of course, you want to pick the biggest aircraft that you can find. Uh, right now in the 1960s it is the Bay Palaka W8 with 200 passengers cargo. Later you will get bigger ones but if you are playing efficiently you will not get there. And I think this is... Um, yeah, right now it's about time to release the second one. And I see that the goods are barely enough there is not a lot of backlog there um, some are on the station i will add simply add more trucks here about four might be enough of course they are not very special only 14 crates of goods each one so you need a decent amount of trucks otherwise you would simply build one five size track uh, train that will take 270 goods each month it will be just enough to supply the city until the end of the game if it delivers one load monthly
And from now on, well, we mainly wait. I can expand my wood network, of course. That would be good because we are running lower. <clears throat> Not low, lower. Let's check on the trains. 86, these are loading and this one is loading as well. Good. That trade network uh, with wood is running as efficiently as it can. <laughs> if you are worried that the trains I have are not enough, they are not going full, traveling in passengers area, it doesn't matter. If you have too many um, wagons, they will simply not wait as long on the station to fill them all. And that's a good thing, of course, um, because your, your route will be faster. And if for any reason you get to transport more passengers, you have the capacity there. Um, good enough. I see the second aircraft is landing. I send the fourth one. And our um, transport of passengers is set up. It's coming nicely. It will probably not deliver each month, but it will cover about as much as we need. I'll keep expanding the road network in my city just a bit. This should be just enough. Oh, so that I will never have to worry about it anymore. This is about it. I will add some more wood trains. Probably just from these forests or do I want these no they're not more productive there's some over here not catching my eye this is too far a bit let's use these trains these woods around this one especially this one okay Of course, if I'm having a very productive route, I am going to build longer trains. I'm usually at length 7. That should be enough for all intents and purposes. Um, yeah. But size 5 is very good at servicing all these industries just enough as this um, scenario, this city builder requires. And you are good to go. Let's add floss with some wood trucks. No, size 5. If you are building a longer train than your station allows, it will load, but it will take an insanely long time uh, to do. As you can see, Tenley hates now accepts goods. So I could, in theory, make a um, route that will uh, have this a station and another one that will simply travel and uh, send the goods from this one to the other one and both of them will load the goods from the same sawmill and deliver it to the same buildings and it will be efficient it will be short it will be a lot of a huge amount of goods that i'm delivering 
that would be simple, that would be a bit of exploit, but in the realms of possibilities. Instead, I'm doing this, and it's fine, I think. And I would like more wood delivered. Really, I will add this forest and this coal mine at the same time. Let's build a station that will have both of the goods. Um, I can do that simply like this. This is a bit better layout of the uh, terminal station. Hmm. I don't like this station here. No, remove the end part. Okay. This is a bit better layout because if the train is going to the other side or arriving at the station, it doesn't have to slow down as much as if it, there was a short an X. It doesn't have to cross sometimes the other uh, the other trains um, tracks. Of course, I need multiple loading stations here because I have uh, different types of goods that are being added. So at least one per each of the good is good, is acceptable, I think. And yeah, let's do this. Uh, I will use this part of the track, just expand it a little and fill it up here. So this part will be two directional and the rest of it is one directional. I'll change the signals to the PB path based ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, these ones are one directional, this is two directional. And the train can freely move up to this signal and wait here until the, it has this space. If you were to do it the, the other way, well, the train would enter the section over here. E with ease, there will be no problem because there's just one train all, always ever. But if it were to go the other way, it would have to wait for the uh, wall section up to here to be free and it would block. So, so if it turned, uh, all of this section is blocked and nothing can pass through here. That's bad design if you do it the other way. Right now, well, I will add these trains here. And if you are wondering, the track is not complete, but I can add new vehicles already to start loading. And when it's, once it's ready, it will they will move to the station here. And you can go. As you can see, we are not delivering enough goods. Our city has stopped growing. It is about 3000 of size already, which is decent. And it eats into the goods we are delivering a lot quicker. I can also copy the signals of uh, the directions of the train just by clicking on it. And if I want to share then if I want the trains to share the orders so that one gets changed, the other one that gets the same change, I can do it with control clicking on it. Here you go, and I will have to finish the train, the track here. Okay, this should be workable now. Add more signals so that I can pass with multiple trains. And after that, well, I should focus on that better. 
uh, I need to solve the goods issues here. Either by adding more goods trucks if my sawmill is producing enough or delivering more wood. Which is what I was doing right here. Up, oh, what? I won the game? Okay, all of the high-rise buildings have finished and we took only 55, 56 minutes to win the game. Now, well, what happens? We won the game, of course, and the server will restart and present us with a new map and a new possibility of winning. Uh, that was certainly unexpected win for me, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see. Please click on the subscribe and like buttons if you wish. And see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.